It's your boy BG, and I'm back with another video. Just want to walk and talk a little bit. Walk with me. Give you guys a little update on my seven pounds and two week challenge. Uh, I've been rocky up and down. The first three days, I lost six pounds. I was like, whoa, I got a pound to go left. I fasted water, no carbs, ate a lot of steak and fish, some chicken breasts. I didn't eat no wings or legs because the um, skin, real fattening. But I lost six pounds in three days and got happy. Said, one more pound, I'm good. I got like 10 days and, I, and I'm cool. Doritos, shrimp fried rice, mashed potatoes. Oh man, the candy, I went, I went a little crazy. Gained it all back, except for about a pound and a half. So this last week I've been trying to struggle with it, but I'm doing good. I think I will hit that seven pounds or better. But um, right now I'm at 225 pounds. So I got about two pounds to um, lose in about four or five days. So it's looking good, but um, the lobster rolls and the french fries didn't help me in that full review I did earlier. So that's why I'm on a track walk. I'm not cheating or running, I'm just walking, knocking some calories loose because the butter wasn't right. It was heavy, it was good. I could have drank a cup of butter and ate more pounds of this lobster meat. So I'm out here getting it in. It's a beautiful day out here. And this challenge is not to be like, Oh, I can just lose the pounds and I can do anything. That's not it because it's about what, what do I do after I lose the seven pounds? Do I work hard and have a better lifestyle of eating and keep them off and go even further? Because it makes no sense to lose seven pounds in two weeks to gain it back in five days. A lot of people do that, so that's not the mission that I'm on. I'm trying to um, do a lifestyle mission. I want to eat more broccoli more string beans, more corn and cauliflower, but I want to eat it fresh. I don't want to eat it out the can. Canned goods, not right neither. Canned goods, you gotta leave that stuff alone too. Sometimes it's more expensive to buy fresh meats every day instead of buying them, freeze them, or buying a cheap cut of meat, or from a corner store or a small supermarket. They buy from the lowest bidder, meaning they buy the cheapest meat possible. You know, they're all injected with all this crazy stuff and the GMO and stuff that, and they feed it anything to grow fast, growth hormones. And if they eat it and we eat them, that's what's going on with us. You know, we're putting that, we're putting that death in our body, chemicals. If we wonder, how did I get cancer? Nobody in my family had it. The meat, you are what you eat. So, you know, it's out here walking and talking. It's a lot going on in the world. It's a lot going on. States are still at an uproar. Nobody got their money back from the unemployment yet. The president got everybody on hold, so people at odds and everyone is fidgeting. Bills is piling up. Refrigerators getting empty. This is crazy. The world is crazy. The world is different. The world is different right now, so we got to make do with what we have and make the best of it. I'm in this park right now, it's nice, no one here. Empty park, got my daughter in the back, she coming up on me, just me and her, so. Got the whole park to myself, but um, yeah, the world is different. There's a lot going on in the entertainment world, I ain't gonna touch that yet. There's a lot going on. So on my next episode of what we talking about, I'm going to go in, real in. But I'm just wanted to give you guys an update it's been rocky, it's been up and down. And I'm trying, nothing be to try but a fail. So put my best foot forward and try to lose these pounds. And if the seventh pound go good, I'ma even try another one. Not just to say I lost it. I'm trying to lifestyle change people. So thanks for bearing with me. I know I was a little late on this update. Got a lot going on like you guys do. So enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll get with you guys shortly. Have a good night, peoples. Peace.